Welcome, everybody. Hello, Roxana. Hello, Marvin. Welcome, welcome. How Hello, are you today? Hi, Guillermo. Hello, Eddie. Hi, teacher. Hello, Roxana. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? How do you feel today? Feel good? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Very good. Hello, Eric. Okay, guys, I would like for us to um, go ahead and get started because the clock is ticking and we are on the clock all day long like Cheech and Chong. So let's go get it, come back with it. Let's look at the first one. Who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What information do you remember about yesterday's class? ¿Qué información se acuerda de la clase de ayer? What information do you remember about yesterday's class? Now, anybody? Anybody, that's right. Oh, anybody, okay. somebody, <laughs> one body, two body, you body, nobody, anybody, somebody, you body, nobody, two body. I was waiting for a name. Okay, go ahead, Marvin. All right, so yesterday I was uh, studied about different things like items that we have homework, and uh, also we look at I mean with talking about customers and different uh, questions about who closed in uh, where we buy a gift for our friends and family and other things. Perfect. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Marvin. Uh, somebody else that can somebody else tell me what information uh, do you remember about yesterday's class? Eh, la persona que tiene LG Stylus 3, eh, usted cuando ingresó a la plataforma o a la clase no puso su nombre completo. Hola, buenas noches. Fíjese de que sí lo puse, pero no sé por qué no me lo registra. Porque ya me pide el nombre y me pide el correo, pero lo coloco y le doy registrar, pero no me lo, no me lo registra. Ok, tenemos que ver eso urgentemente porque si no nos va a parecer como que si no está inscrito en la clase. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Elmer me dijo. Sí, Elmer. Elmer Neftalí. ¿Cuál es? Elmer Neftalí. Juárez. Haceme un favor, Elmer. Eh, cuando la clase se termine o el día de mañana, mándame un WhatsApp privado. Y me comentas esta situación, que tú te escribes con el nombre completo, pero que no te aparece en la plataforma. Porque oh. eso sí nos va a generar que no estás ingresando a la clase. Y eso nos no puede causar un, un problema más adelante. Queremos evitar esa situación. Ok, ok. Ok, por favor. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you, Elner. Somebody else, somebody else that can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? ¿Quién se acuerda que vimos ayer? Alguien más. Eh, necesito que todos mantengan sus cámaras encendidas para la clase, por favor. Es parte de la estipulación que Insaforb nos ha dado. Así que necesitamos que todos, Marvin, Luis, Yvette, que todos tengan sus cámaras encendidas para la clase. Es parte de la metodología del programa, por favor. Puede mantener su micrófono en silencio, pero sí necesito que su cámara esté encendida para la clase. Es parte del programa. Ok. Eh, gracias los que están colaborando con la cámara. 
Yvette Martinez, I need the camera on, please. Thank you, Yvette. All right, um, please, uh, who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What vocabulary, what activity, what do you remember from yesterday's class? ¿Quién me puede decir? Uh, Mauricio. Me yes, Mauricio, go ahead. Question. Um, sobre lo que compramos, donde compramos ropa, con qué frecuencia. Eh, y la actividad la actividad que se, se realizó sobre mm -hmm. quiero acordarme <laughs> sin ver el material ok, that's good, sobre that's what I want that's what I want sobre los modismos o sobre refranes o frases que, coloquiales that is correct. That is correct. Very good. So yesterday we started off with vocabulary and the vocabulary was referring to dimensions, weight. Uh, we were looking at vocabulary related to products and features of the products and things like that. So today, we're going to go ahead and move forward, and we're going to be looking at how much, how much. So I want you to look at this right here. Uh, repeat, please. How much? How much? How much? How, how, much? Much? how many? How, how many? many? Right. So when I'm going to use how much, I use it for non-countable nouns, non-countable nouns, right? When I'm talking about how much and how many is for non-countable nouns. And we use the how many for the countable nouns, right? So, Mr. Santos, what is the difference when I'm going to use the countable nouns and the non-countable nouns, okay? So, in this example, I want you to see that we use the countable nouns when you can count the, the object or the people. For example, I can say to you, how many students are in the class? How many students are in the class? 13. There are 13 students in the class. So I want you to notice that the word 13 students has an S because it's plural, right? However, if I'm going to use the uncountable noun, I say, how much water do you drink every day? I drink two liters of water 
every day. All right? So I want you to notice that the word, the word water is non-countable mm -hmm. and the word students is countable. All right? Now, okay. if I'm if I'm going to be talking about money, money, how much, very good, how much money do you have in the bank, right? So I can understand that money is considered non-countable. Money is considered non-countable. But if I say to you, how many dollars do you have in your pocket? Now, I want you to notice that the word dollars is, is countable. Why? Because I put a S to make it plural. So I use many, which is countable. Now, if I say to you, for example, uh, how, how much sleep, how much sleep do you get every night? The word sleep is considered uncountable. Sleep is uncountable. But if I ask you how many hours how many hours do you sleep every night? In this case, the word hours is considered countable. I use many because hours is countable. Do you understand? Oops. Sorry about that. Undo. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. I would like for everybody, please copy the examples in your notebooks. Copy the examples in your notebooks at this moment, please. Are you finished? Not yet. Okay. No.
Okay. Now I would like for everybody to please repeat after me. How many students are in the class? How many students are in the class? How many students are in the class? How much water do you drink every day? How much, How much water, water do you drink, every day? Do you drink every, day? every day? How much money do you have in the bank? How much money do you have in the bank? Very good. How many dollars do you have in your pocket? How many dollars do you have in your pocket? How much sleep do you get every night? Oh, how much sleep do you get every night? night. How, many uh, how, many do you how many hours do you sleep every night? How many do you sleep every night? How many hours do you sleep every night? Every day, every night. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to get. Six. Um, can somebody give me an, another example? Raise your hand. Somebody give me one more example. Ah, okay. How many, oops, how many hours do you work daily? How many hours do you work daily? Um, how much food do you eat daily? Okay, somebody give me another example. Another example, Carla Beatriz. Um, how much sugar in the do you? How much su sugar um, in the kitchen do you have in the kitchen? Or you can say how much sugar do you put? Oh, okay. In your coffee. Very good. How much sugar do you put in your coffee? Excellent. Carla, thank you. Thank One you. more example. Another example. Somebody? Nelly? Marvin? Mauricio? Yesenia? Uh, how many rooms do you have your home? How many brooms? How many rooms do you have in your home? Very good. Rooms Excellent. are. Oh, rooms. Room. Ah, <laughs> okay. I, th I thought you said brooms. Home. Okay, so that would be rooms. How many rooms do you have in your home? Excellent. Everybody, please copy the examples. Copy the examples in your notebook at this moment. Mm <clears throat> I 
Is everybody finished? No. Okay. Daily. Daily. Diariamente. Daily. Daily. Diariamente. Otro podría ser, how many or do you gym daily? How many hours do you? Uh, gym. Gym? Gym, uh -huh. Ah, okay. How many hours do you exercise daily? Exercise. Okay. How many hours do you exercise daily that's right exercise uh, se utiliza con todo, igual para ejercicio físico la palabra como para ejercicio uh, that is correct workout. or you could say you can say workout yo digo workout okay. workout oops workout uh -huh. Work out. How many hours do you work out daily or how many hours do you exercise daily? Es lo mismo. Okay. Is everybody finished copying the questions? Okay, now what I want you to do is we are going to practice asking and responding to the questions. Let me have one volunteer ask Mr. Santos the questions. One volunteer, please. Ask Mr. Santos the question. And Mr. Santos is going to respond to the questions. One volunteer, please. All right, Mauricio, extra point. Mauricio, please ask Mr. Santos the question. And Mr. Santos is going to respond to the questions. I want for everybody, please listen and pay attention. Because after, you are going to practice in pairs. Go ahead, Mauricio. Okay. <clears throat> How many students are in the class? There are 17 students in the class. Two. How much water do you drink every day? I drink two liters of water every day. How much money do you have in the bank? 
uh, right now, uh, I have. Tiro, tiro. <laughs> well, yeah, pandemic, <laughs> broke, quarantine, no money. I have one hundred dollars in the bank. Only for the super selectos. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, how much? How many dollars do you have in your pocket? I have ten dollars in my pocket. Go ahead. Okay. How much lead do you get up every night? Oh, I thank God that I I sleep very well. Uh, I sleep, let me see, how much sleep do you get every, every night? I can say I get enough sleep every night. And I take a nap in the afternoon. The next one? Okay. Okay. How many, How many hours? How do you sleep every night? La misma. How many uh, hours? Yeah, yeah. Es lo mismo, solo que en la primera, sleep is non-countable. Y en la segunda, hours is countable. Okay. Uh, I sleep, oops, I sleep seven hours every night continue okay how many hours do you work daily uh, i work 10 hours daily i have three jobs Okay. How much food do you eat daily? Uh, I eat, normally I eat two meals and a snack daily. I normally don't have dinner. I'm trying to avoid dinner so that I can get my six pack. Yeah. How how much dollar do you out in your coffee? Uh, I put one spoon <laughs> of sugar in my coffee. How many room you have in your home? Uh, I have five rooms. Uh, this is not my home, but this is where I live. Uh, I have five rooms in this home. Okay. Okay. How many hours do you exercise daily? I work out. In the morning, 45 minutes. I work out 45 minutes in the morning, right? I do cardio and I work, I work out one hour. I work out, work out one hour with weights in the afternoon in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Everybody, please applause for 
Mauricio. Thank you, Mauricio. Good job. Okay, guys. So now what you are going to do is you are going to practice in pairs using the countable nouns and the uncountable nouns. Do you understand? Do you yes. have any questions Questions at this moment? No, teacher. No questions? Okay. I'm going to put you in pairs, and we're going to have 10 minutes to practice. If you finish, repeat. If you finish, repeat again. If you finish, repeat one more time. Right. Remember, the more you practice, the better and the easier and the more fluent you will become. Okay, we're going to work in pairs. You will have 10 minutes. I'm going to be monitoring the groups. So if you have a question, raise your hand or ask for help, and then I will help you. Remember, you are supposed to have the camera on. Tenemos que mantener las cámaras encendidas. No queremos ver eh, fotos ni imágenes. Queremos ver su persona que esté allí en vivo. Carlos Antonio, necesito que encienda su cámara, por favor. Gracias. Let's go. You will have 10 minutes to practice the activity. 10 minutes to practice countable and non-countable nouns. You have to click where it says entrar a sesión pequeña o entrar a sesión privada. En el centro le tiene que aparecer. Eh, veo que Carlos Antonio no entró. Carlos, usted está con Jesse Aguilar. Y Mauricio, usted está con eh, sí, Marvin. No, no me apareció nada. Oh, qué raro. Mauricio con Marvin. Ok, voy a reubicar a Marvin porque está él solo allí esperándolo. Lo voy a poner con Francisco en el 4. Y a usted lo voy a... Este es Mauricio, ¿verdad? Marvin ya se fue. Mauricio lo vamos a ubicar con Carla y Luis en el 3. Ok, ahorita le tiene que llegar. Ok. Okay.
We can hear you. Hi, Marvin Lara. Ding, 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 ding. Time. Ding, 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 ding. Time. <laughs> Let me have two <laughs> volunteers. Two volunteers. Please. Two volunteers. No, 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 no. Only two. Only two. Not everybody. Only two. Marvin. Okay. <laughs> Marvin Antonio. And Yvette Martinez. Marvin ask the questions and Yvette respond to the questions. Action. Okay. Hi, Yvette. Hi, How many friend. students are in the class? I have 13 students in the class. Next one is how much water do you drink every day? I I drink two liters drink every day. Two liters of water. Okay. I drink two liters of water every day. Okay, next one. How much money do you have in your in the bank? <laughs> Nothing. Um, zero. <laughs> <laughs> I have zero dollars in the bank. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. How many dollars do you have in your pocket? I Don't have twenty dollars in my pocket. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, now stop right there. Now, Yvette, ask the questions and Marvin, respond to the question. Go ahead, Yvette. Uh, I don't write the exercise. Ah, okay. It's okay. I uh, have Nelly. Uh, any question? Um, okay. Let's let's hear what you got. Okay, Marvin. Mm -hmm. How many hours exercise every day? Do you exercise every day? Okay. How many hours do you exercise every day? How many? <laughs> Exercise to you every day. I didn't exercise. Oh? Oh? <laughs> oh. Okay, I okay. Don't <laughs> I don't exercise. <laughs> no, no. The question is like this. Um, Yvette, repeat, please. Okay. How, How many many hours hours do do you you exercise exercise every day every day ahí se lo mandé al chat del zoom how many hours do you exercise every day y marvin responde i don't exercise I don't exercise. exercise. Very good. Okay. Applause for Marvin and Yvette. Good job, Marvin and Yvette. Okay, guys. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the practice, which is in the student book. Now, for this activity, you are going to complete the following questions using how much or how many. For example, number one. Hmm? 
pieces do I need to assemble this? What is the correct response? How much or how many? How many? How many? How, how many? many? How many? Number two. I want you to do two, three, four, five, and six in pairs. You're going to have five minutes. Five minutes, and then we are going to check. Five, and then we are going to check. Let's go in pairs, five minutes in pairs. Eh, Jesse Aguilar. Teacher, no. teacher, One. mándamelo nuevamente la invitación. <laughs> ah, ok. Ok, la vamos a poner en el 2 y de ahí okay. la vamos a mandar otra vez al 1. Ahí está. Ok, Sam. Ok. Carlos Antonio va entrando. Se nos perdió Carlos Antonio. Ok, Carlos Antonio, lo vamos a ubicar con Mauricio y Nelly. Con Mauricio, Carlos Antonio se va a ir con Mauricio y Nelly lo vamos a poner en el grupo 5. Tiene que darle a ingresar. Daniel Armando lo vamos a poner en el 4. Tienen que darle ingresar a sesión pequeña, chicos. Daniel Armando y Carlos Antonio tiene que darle clic donde dice ingresar a sesión pequeña. Give it out to Danny. Para que me explique qué es lo que hay que hacer, que me acabo de conectar, no sé qué estamos haciendo.
Ding, 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 ding. Time. Ding, 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 ding. Time. All right. Sorry, los que no pudieron trabajar. I'm sorry, but time is ticking. So we got to move fast like Jackie Chang. So let's get it on. Let me have one volunteer, Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio. Number one. Eh, lo siento, no pude hacer nada. Okay, <laughs> Roxana, number one. It's okay, Carlos Antonio, la próxima. Roxana, number one. How many? How many? How many? Very good. Eh, Arturo Antonio, number two. Yeah. How much? How much? How much? Excellent. How much? Eric Guillermo, number three. Eric Guillermo, number three. Um, how much? How much? Okay. Marvin Antonio, number four. Marvin Antonio, number four. Um, how many? How many? Mauricio, number five. Mauricio. How, how many? How many? Jesse, number six. Jesse, number six. How many? How many? Excellent. How Many. Okay, now we're going to check. Let's look at the first one. How many pieces? Repeat. How many pieces? How many pieces? How many pieces? Do I need? Do I need? Do I need? Do I need? To, to assemble? To assemble. Number two, how much, how how much, much do these books cost? How much is the battery life of this computer? Of this, of computer. this computer. How many hours? How many hours? How many hours? Do I charge it? Do I charge it? E how many money? How much? How much? Eh, eh, no much. No, 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 no. No, it's not <laughs> how many money. Incorrect. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> what is the correct answer? Who can help me? How, how much? much? Very good. Mm -hmm. How much? Because money is uncountable. <laughs> Oops. This one is correct. A strong number six. How many no. gallons of water does this need? Repeat. How, how many, many gallons of water does this need? Perfect. Any questions? Any questions about this vocabulary? ¿Quién fue el que me dijo how many money? ¿Quién me dijo eso? Hi. Hi, Mauricio. 
why why did you say how many money why a proposal oh it was on purpose <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, I know that in your mind you think that the word money is countable, but is not countable. It's considered yes. uncountable. Porque hay demasiado dinero en el mundo para saber cuánto hay. Cuánto hay. All right. En marzo imprimieron, imprimieron tres trillones de dólares y los mandaron al público. Este mes están imprimiendo otros tres trillones de dólares y los están mandando al público. Así que ahorita va a haber una gran recesión. Así que prepárese. El valor del dólar va a bajar enormemente. A nosotros no nos ha llegado todavía, pero va a llegar. Ok. Un tip ahí. Pero money is non-countable. Non-countable. Dollars. One dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars is countable. Pero tú no decís one money, two money, three money. Tú no decís así, ¿verdad? Tú decís one dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Okay? Do you understand? I did. Okay. Okay, that went. Now, I want us to continue and we're going to look at a dialogue conversation using has to for obligations. Work with the partner to read the conversation. Then switch roles and read it again. Repeat, please. The new material the new, the new material, material. Just, arrived. Just, just arrived. Just arrived in the morning. In, in the, the morning. morning. Tell Max. Tell Max, Max that he has to. That he has to. Has to store everything. Store everything. Store everything. Store everything. Where does he? Where does he have to have to store the boxes? Store the boxes. He and Ivan. He and Ivan. Ivan have to have to have to store them in the warehouse. Store them in the warehouse. Okay. 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 But there are any boxes. Many boxes. Many boxes. Can they, can they, they use, the use the lift? Use the lift. They have to. They, they have, have to, to use the lift. Use the lift. But ask. Bye. Bye. And tell the secretary first. She is going to say. She is going to say. They can use it. They can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max. And Ivan what they have to do. What they have, what they have, to, have to, do. to do. Okay. Now, at this moment, does anybody have any questions referring to the vocabulary in this conversation? 
do you have any questions referring to the vocabulary in this dialogue? Okay, Marvin, go ahead. You may go to the restroom. Somebody, a question? Preguntas sobre el vocabulario. No, okay. At this moment, we are going to practice the conversation in pairs. You will have five minutes to practice the conversation in pairs. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to select two volunteers to practice the conversation. Are you ready? Ready. All right. Thank you, Carla. Let's go. Elmer, Daniel, Marvin, and Carlos. What happened? Elmer? Marvin? Daniel? Hello, Marvin? Hello, Daniel? Hello, hello. Hi, Eric. Hi. Tenés la pantalla.
Hola, hola. Hola, Elmer. Pasó, Arturo. Muy, muy bilingüe sos vos, Arturo. Puede ser que nos han puesto aquí a hablar inglés. Eh, pues... Sorry, hay una fuerte tormenta ahorita. Ok, guys, eh, vamos a pasar la lista de asistencia. Cuando yo llame su nombre, usted me va a decir presente. Arturo Antonio. Present. Excellent. Eh, Yesenia Beatriz. Presente. Thank you. Jesse Elizabeth. Presente. Gracias. Nelly Elena. Presente. Thank you. Eh, Carla Yesenia. Carla Yesenia. Ausente. Eh, Carla Beatriz. Presente. René Alexander. René Alexander. Ok, ausente. Eh, Diego Wilfredo. Diego Wilfredo. Ausente. Javier Alexander. Javier Alexander. Ok. Roxana Patricia. Valladares, presente, gracias. Maybelline Rodríguez. Maybelline Rodríguez. Ok. Eh, Daniel Armando. Daniel Armando. Ausente. Francisco Edgardo. Presente. Presente por la patria. Eh, Claudia Esther. Ausente. Eh, Elmer Neftalí. Presente. Presente. Patricia Yamilet. Ausente. Eric Guillermo. Presente. Presente. Luis José. Presente. Presente. Mayra Lisset. Mayra Lisset. Ausente. Okay. Eh, Mauricio Efraín. Mauricio Efraín. Presente. Presente, ok. Casi le ponía ausente. Eh, Erenia, Erenia Ivette. Es que está cayendo la fuerte ahorita, dice. Uh, esa es vida. Erenia Ivette. Presente. Presente, ahí está. Ayer estuvo ausente. Marvin Antonio. Presente. Presente, excelente. Y Carlos Antonio. Carlos presente. Antonio, presente. Vaya, está bueno, chicos. Eh, no se presente. ve tan, no se ve tan mal, pero no se ve como queremos que se vea. Pero ahí vamos. Ok, let me have. Two volunteers. Uno que sea Aaron y el otro que sea Sam. Ok, Mauricio Efraín. 
Ok, guys, eh, estoy viendo que los mismos están participando. Eso quiere decir que solo ellos van a aprender inglés. Ok, porque si usted no participa, no va a aprender inglés. Para que usted aprenda, tiene que participar. Ok, porque si solo participa Mauricio, Marvin, eh, Arturo y Carla, solamente ellos van a aprender. Todos tenemos que participar. Yo sé que tal vez se le hace difícil la pronunciación. Obviamente estamos empezando después de un largo receso. Ok, pero si usted nunca hace el, el intento, nunca va a aprender. Ok, así que necesito que, que participe. Necesito Teacher. que Daniel Armando encienda la cámara. Ya. Yeah. Teacher, te voy a tener que desconectarme un rato. Está lloviendo bastante fuerte con bastante rayos. Ok, ok, Mauricio, comprendo su sí, situación. Eh, ahorita comprendo. acabo de caer uno algo cerca de la casa y botó un árbol, me dice mi esposa. Ok, comprendo, comprendo. Si tiene no que desconectarse, con... está bueno, comprendo, sí, comprendo. Sí, porque es, es con el internet de residencial y no voy a hacer el wifi. Oh my God, ok, ok, está bueno, está bueno. Sí. Ok, later, vamos. See you later, my brother from another mother. Let's go, Arturo and Yvette. Arturo, usted va a ser Aaron, Yvette va a ser Sam. Action. Ok. The new material used are in the morning. Tell Max that in the has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? And Ivan have to store then in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but has and the tell and secretary spirits. She's going to say, say, she, she is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do perfect excellent pronunciation good job good job very good thank you for your practice uh, now guys i want you to understand that we are going to use have to for obligation right for example i have to work my father has to pay the light bill. We have to study English. She has to take care of her baby. And he has to pick up his wife after work. Now, I want you to notice, guys, that the verb is in the base form. The verb is in the base form, right? In the first sentence, what is the verb? The verb is work. It's in the base form. My father has to pay. The verb is in the base form. We have to study. The verb is in the base form. She has to take care of her baby. The verb is in the base form. He has to pick up 
the verb is in the base form. So whenever you're going to use the, the modal have to or has to, the verb is in the base form. Any questions? Okay, now what I would like for us to do is move forward and I want you to practice with this activity. Read the conversation again and circle the correct answer. So you're gonna do number one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And you have to select the correct verb. You will have three minutes and I want you to work in pairs three minutes and you're going to work in pairs and then we are going to check. Ding, 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 time. Now we are going to check. Number one, one volunteer, Yesenia Beatrice. Yesenia Beatrice. Number one, what is the correct answer? Uh. I do. Max and Ivan has to. Okay, Yesenia, quiero que vea en su computadora arriba donde dice you are viewing. Y después hay una parte donde dice anótate, A-N-N-O-T-A-T-E. ¿Puede ver ahí? No. Dele no. click. No me cargo, me cayó la red. Ok, ah, pues sí, esa es la respuesta. Has to. Max and Ivan, no, no, perdón. Incorrect. Incorrect. ¿Por qué está incorrect? Because there are two people. Two. Very good, because it's two people. 
because I have Sam, Ivan, I mean, yeah, Max yeah. and Ivan. Ivan. So it's two people. So if it is plural, the answer is? Have to. Have to. Very good. Ding, ding, ding. Have to. Number two, Jesse Aguilar. Doesn't have to. Aaron doesn't have to help store the boxes. Is correct. Okay. Excellent, Jesse. The next one, Nelly Lopez, number three. Nelly Lopez. Okay, creo que Nelly no me escuchó. Perdón, perdón. <laughs> Ahora sí. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sam doesn't have to help. Excellent. Sam doesn't have to help. Perfect. Very good. Number four. Luis Jose. Number four. Luis Jose. Okay, the secretary has to say that they can use the lift. Excellent, correct. Applause for everybody. Good job. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. Now, for the next section here, you are going to complete the sentence using the correct form of have to. For example, number one, the company mm, buy new material. What is the answer? The company has to buy new material right the company has to buy new material so you're going to complete the sentence using this vocabulary in parentheses using the subject using has to or have to. You will have five minutes, five minutes to work in pairs. Any questions? Any questions? Five no, minutes. No. Let's go. Five minutes. Five minutes. Let's go. Carlos Figueroa. ¿Qué le pasó, Carlos? ¿Por qué no entró? Ok, Carlos, lo tengo con Eric Guillén. Lo vamos a poner en el 3. Y a Carlos lo vamos a mandar con Marvin y Nelly en el 4. No veo que está en lo que está, Carlos. ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo? Si no va a aprender, necesito que se enfoque. Concentrate. Estoy teniendo problemas con el internet y a cada ratito se, está, se me está 
Desconectando. Ah, ok. Ok, ya lo puse con Marvin y Nelly. Dele para adentro. No se fue. Vamos a ponerlo con Carla y Yesenia en el 5. Ahí está. Ding, 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 time. All right. Por allí me estaban haciendo una consulta que eh, tal vez no lo expliqué yo muy bien, pero se lo voy a, lo vamos a ver ahorita. Ok, la pregunta era, teacher, ¿cómo voy a saber si voy a usar have to o has to? So, normally, when you are referring to the third person singular, she, he, it, uh, my teacher, uh, my boss, my wife, my husband, my dog, right? Cuando estás hablando en tercer persona singular, third person singular, right? You're going to use, this is for the third person singular right you're going to use has to or doesn't t o e s n doesn't have to when it is third person singular but if you are speaking about for example the class whoa eh, denme un segundo guys que se acaba de venir una gran tormenta y voy a cerrar las ventanas y las puertas give me one moment please okay
Arturo termina la clase. Termina la voz, Marvin. Okay. So, if I say to you the class, the group, the family, I, you. We, they, right? In this case, we use have to or don't have to, right? The class, oh, perdón, perdón, perdón. The class, the group, the family, it's se usa doesn't. The class has to, or the class doesn't have to. ¿Por qué? Porque una clase está compuesta de muchas personas, sin embargo es una clase. Un grupo está compuesto de muchas personas, sin embargo es un grupo. So, usamos el has. Ahora, si vamos a usar el, el I, you, we y they, aquí sí, aquí ya sería have to, I have to, you have to, we have to. They have to, or I don't have to, you don't have to, they don't have to, we don't have to. Assist that. Okay. Por favor, copie. Copy, copy. Uh, teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Eh, la tercera persona singular en la forma negativa sería dos has. That's right. El auxiliar es doesn't have to. ¿Se usaría have o has? Yeah, have to. Aquí está el tercer persona. Doesn't have to. Ok, gracias. Ok. Now we are going to check the exercise. The company has to buy new materials. ¿Quién me puede hacer la número dos? Volunteer. Me, teacher. Nelly, number two. Your parents had to fill out container. Very good. Your parents have to pile up, pile, repeat, pile up, pile up, containers, pile up containers. Number three, Yesenia, the agent. The agent. Luis. Sería dos as true. 
Not sign the letter. Not sign the letter. Jesse. Okay. Jesse. They, they agent has to. No. A uh, your partner. Your partner. Sería the agent uh -huh. uh, have to no no es don't have to don't have to correct Eric don't don't have to 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 sign the letter the letter correct Okay, number four, one volunteer, number four. Me. One volunteer, number four. Me, teacher. Can you me, teacher? Yo, Carla. Carla, okay, Carla, Mr. Bonilla. Mr. Bonilla has to design new models. Very good. Mr. Bonilla has to design new models. Okay, number five, the last one. Number five, the last one. The group doesn't have to. The group doesn't have to has to work work until 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 late. Okay. ¿Qué tiene de mala allí? The the group doesn't. Has ¿Cuál es el no. problema aquí? Have to. Has, to. Has, has, ¿verdad? Has. Ahí sería. Have, have to. Have. Have. Okay. Right? The group doesn't have to work until late. Uh. I have a question. Yes, Marvin. So the thing is with the number five, that is the group, doesn't have to mm -hmm. work. So if we look it up in negative, say doesn't has to use the lift in that sample. Ah, yes. If it's positive. Five, no, no if it's, it's, positive. it's negative. It's negative. In, in the last one, he say he doesn't has to use the lid. So that's why maybe he's confused because we can use how to. Mm -hmm. uh, number five, this one. Yeah. In the but sample. Uh, in the sample of negative, there is number four. This is affirmative and negative. In the last one of the sample, you say he doesn't has to use the lift. That okay, one, right? Yes. Right there. Okay. So, why is confused, you know. Ahí sería, ahí sería... Eh, eh. Error del libro. Okay. Yeah, ahí, ahí se equivocó el libro. Sorry. Ahí tenía que ser, he doesn't have to, the truck driver doesn't have to. Las dos tendrían que ser have. have. Ahí se equivocó el libro. Sorry. Okay. ¿Qué le ha pasado? Okay. Now, now we're going to look at this information right here. Vamos a hacer como un tipo cuestionario. 
features and products, tablet, television, refrigerator, weight, dimensions, and quantity. Listen to your teacher and read the following features of some products. Then practice with a partner. Repeat, please. 170 grams. 170 grams. 170 grams. 112.43 pounds. 112.43 pounds. 112.43 pounds. Okay. 340 pounds. Three hundred eighty pounds. Three hundred eighty pounds. Nineteen point three centimeters. Nine. Nine. By eleven. 13.7 centimeters. Repeat, please, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Vamos a, a iniciar nuevamente. 170 grams. 170 grams. 112.43 pounds. Uh, hundred twelve. Hundred twelve. Hundred twelve. Hundred twelve. Hundred twelve. Hundred twelve. <risa> es otro idioma, teacher. Eh, no hablo chino. Okay. Hagámoslo en sintonía, por favor. One more time. 340 pounds. 340 pounds. Okay. Tampoco mejor. Vamos mejorando. 380 pounds. 300 and 80 pounds. Más o menos. 19.3 centimeters. 19.3 centimeters. 19.3 centimeters. 19.3 Four by four. So la X bye. se pronuncia by, como cuando compras bye. algo. By. One more bye. time. 19.3 centimeters. 19.3 By 11.7 centimeters. By 11.3 By 1.3 centimeters. Forty one point three inches. By twenty six point seven inches. Forty-eight and one eighth inches. Forty-eight and one eighth inches. Two hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. 
Fifty. Fifty. Okay. So, lo que vamos a hacer es de tarea. Quiero que se memoricen cómo pronunciar estos eh, estos números. That's going to be your homework for tomorrow. And I want you to also answer the questions. Answer the questions. Two, three, four. That's going to be your homework for tomorrow. Okay, guys. Good night. Good night. Enjoy. Good night. Bye -bye. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Yeah, see you Bye. tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow, guys. Enjoy the rain. <laughs>